Hello everybody, this is Bacter again, back with another bit of the uh, quick play, or whatever you want to call it, of Deadbolt. We took out Puff last time, we got our sights set on the rest of the zombie gang. This time, let's get down to it. Things start to get a little more interesting. We've got our newest enemy type here, the Cerberus, the three-headed dog. They're actually a lot nastier than I'm making them look. Uh, it's a bit hard to hit their heads from behind, so we like them charging at you for that old headshot. Uh, they run very quickly. Uh, and leap at you. There's no delay before they melee attack you like there is a pipe gun. You see there that the headhunter is worthless unless you get a headshot. Anyway, as with pretty much everything, it's a one-hit kill from the Cerberi. So you want to take them down quickly. Uh, having the shotgun left when we get to the top of this building is absolutely essential for it. The completion of it. Uh, in some levels, the hounds can cause you just a lot of trouble. Their heads are also at a very different level than a lot of the enemies, so you can't do fine adjustments and nail them. This is my favorite level in the game. I absolutely love Boogeyman. Um, I'm not doing it the way I like to, which is completely stealthy. Uh, we don't have to worry about that camera there. This isn't a kill everybody mission. And so you see I get noticed here, and that uh, ruins the completely stealthiness of it. But for whatever reason, the left-hand bruiser doesn't seem to mind any of that stuff. I guess he's preoccupied. Um, but if we turn off the lights as we go, then there's really not too much to worry about. That guy was about to flip on the light switch down there, so it was good that we uh, picked up feet and moved quickly. But, um, it's a lot of fun playing that game, that level more slowly and deliberately. A lot of these levels you need to focus on exactly what you need to complete the missions and not be messing around with extra kills or anything that's sort of out of your way. This is a longer mission, and honestly not one of my favorites to speedrun because there's just a lot that can go wrong. There's a lot of times you'll be opening a door and just blind firing into a room. And in one of the ones in particular, um, it's just kind of RNG. You'll want to get out your headhunter, which is put away after the last mission because they gave you a silenced 10 millimeter for that level. The uh, delay between noticing you and firing is enough that you can run in and consistently um, hammer that guy. Now this is the one I was talking about, which is kind of RNG. I've had it to where the shots just missed enough that I didn't hit both the heads and I was gunned down. So it's not really a safe strategy, although it is very quick. Now this is an idea because the move here came down, although it does give me the chance to get rid of him. Sorry for the slowdown a little bit. I'm recording it like half uh, size as normal in order to try to prevent as much slowdown as we can. But my old lab still can't take too much of anything. The nice use of the bathroom there is to flank your enemies, of course. And uh, I don't know if this is related to the slowdown, but sometimes you get it to where the reinforcements don't actually walk in, they just kind of stay where they are, and that's a weird bug. I've had it happen when there wasn't a slowdown, too, but it's uh, it's also a win for us because with the headhunter, no other gun in the game, by the way, could you basically um, pull off a shot at that distance. Maybe the zip gun, I think that's supposed to be really accurate, too, but regardless. Uh, that kind of long distance sniping. It's pretty much just the headhunter. I don't like these long lock picking sequences. The only thing that they're really good for challenge wise is if you have to pick a lock in a hurry on the enemies behind you. And um, there's not here. Other than that, it's just kind of a waste of time. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, on we progress. This is the level where we encounter, as you may remember, uh, the first of the vampires. They're much quicker to draw. Uh, you want to get through the dialogue quickly so you can get up here and have plenty of time to take out that bouncer with the headhunter. If you're uh, using the strategy here. Shooting there is important because it alerts the vampire down below, which means he comes up to talk to you. They're quite vulnerable, those uh, tall, slim guys, if you can get the drop on them. And we have this sawed off here, and two. Um, Zombie or vampire ladies, which are just perfect um, targets for that thing. They run very quickly, so you like a weapon that it's uh, you know has a has a broad area. Now, the 10 millimeter pistol actually pierces doors. It does almost no damage, but heads have basically no damage to them. That makes what would normally be a real tricky encounter into a hard one. Ooh, I thought I had the shotgun out there. That was actually. Uh, that was a little problematic. I wish I had burnt those sacks of uh, dust on the way in. Heads don't count towards uh, undead kills, incidentally. If there's ever a level where you have to kill, excuse me, kill all the undead, then you can just leave the head cameras be. Nobody cares. That's a pickable lock is the reason I'm not going through the door down below. I waste a little time 
uh, recovering from the fall, but it's not so bad. You can see I'm getting a lot of four stars, and I'll get some threes and twos, actually, I think, if the uh, run goes as it normally does. Now, this level is uh, just the prime example of the difference between a thorough run and a speed run. Um, they give you a lot of hints that you're not really supposed to kill anybody, which is totally doable and kind of fun, although much, much trickier than killing Roland the good way, which is to uh, just ignore basically everybody. Now, oh, the, the headhunter will take him down in one hit if it hits correctly, and if not, it doesn't. Drops it. Cassette, which I really want to get, but uh, you know, needs must as the speed run goes. And that's it for level one. See you guys next time.